Hello everybody, Skyrain here, back again with another Diablo Immortal video. Now, what we're going to go over in this one kind of covers a few things. Um, I did find on Reddit that kind of caught my attention. Um, first and foremost, if you can tell, I'm wearing the cosmetic gear from the most recent um, gauntlet, uh, Inferno 5 gauntlet. I managed to get a carry, so I'm not taking credit for that at all, sadly. Uh, I'm close to getting there already, though. Uh, I have currently 32871 as of this recording, and unfortunately, I'm still wearing all my Inferno 4 gear because they are triples and the combat rating was higher. Even after opening a bunch of boxes, and I gave my reason for that in a previous video, um, why I didn't show that video, because it was just... No, long story short, it was so negative. But anyway, the whole point of this video, though, is to bring up this point. And it was posted on Reddit, which is very true. Okay, so we go over to Gauntlet. Look at this. Season. Season 1. Start, uh, supposedly started back in, you know, December 1223. Or 12, 2023, you know. Um, the 14. Oh, yeah. And now this one. Uh, let's see. It says 2 19 20, uh, 24. Uh, what? <laughs> Is that what, what's going to happen? We're, we're just now getting to Inferno 5 Gauntlet, the majority of us. Granted, there's some whales on our server I've seen out there, and they have, uh, where is it? Wait a minute. This is Inferno 4. This is Inferno 5. Right here. 33,300 combat rating. And, uh, yeah. We have some whales that are close, if not already there, for freaking Inferno 6 Gauntlet. And I want the portal. But unless I can manage to catch them just at the right time, because there's only a handful right now that are that high. Um, and even they, even they might have trouble doing ca uh, hard carries and whatever else for these, because it's freaking five bosses in this one. This is four, this is three, so, or two. Two, uh, two, four, and then five. But either way, what the hell? If this is what is, well, the 14 there kind of throws it off. Is that 12... December 14th, it's got to be, maybe, I don't know what that is, or, uh, yeah, so yeah, hopefully that just means the scoring of the season ends, and they just start another, quote, season, this is season one, so I don't know when they started this part, actually, in the gauntlets, well, it, it must have just started with, uh, Inferno 4, 5, and 6, they can't end it, <laughs> I mean, they can end this one, yeah, but I mean, they'll have to start another one, and um that's so weird i don't know what to think of this i really don't let me know what you guys think about it and obviously people on reddit have made some comments i think already too perhaps i haven't refreshed it um since i checked it last uh, there wasn't any post at the time this was pretty fresh when i found it and yeah it caught my attention too i'm like well, what are we gonna do <laughs> hopefully we can still do and still get the cosmetics here and hopefully they don't change them because i still want this portal you know, because I already got the other two pieces now. I've got... Yeah. I got the weapon and the armor. I still want, I want the portal now. I've gotten this much, and I just got the armor today. So... Yeah, I hope that doesn't end anything abruptly, and then we're, you know, we're missing out. That sucks. I don't... I'm hoping I'm just looking into it in the, you know, the wrong way, and they're just going to restart it, but I don't recall them really deeming these things seasons. I forget when the other ones lopped off, because that does suck for people that aren't, uh, that are just starting to play the game and they miss out, because obviously the gauntlet is only so long, um, and these are all slated in the same time frame. So I hope they don't take this away, because you know, obviously Inferno. I missed out on the previous Inferno, uh, Inferno Three Gauntlet. If there was any cosmetics, I missed out on those. So that's my bad there. Yes, but at the same time, you got people that are just now, you know, climb, starting the game. Perhaps they don't get to get at the, any of this stuff. So yeah, that's kind of, kind of. I don't know. I don't know what to make of that. I don't know what to think of that. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and uh, bring that up here. Yeah. 
here's the actual reddit post uh, this is when I found it earlier today, so it's it hasn't been refreshed. Actually, I tell you what, we're gonna do this live. Let me refresh it here, and uh, let's see here. Hey, keep scrolling. Why aren't you? Oh, it is. It did scroll. That's as far as it scrolled. Give me. Uh, okay, let me see. I think this happened with the previous season, so basically, yes, they create new tournaments with XXCR required. Hang on a minute. Let me bring this up because it's got it locked in place. Up here, here we go. The comments. They create new tournaments, new tournaments with uh, including a third crazy one for whales or a party composed of very specific class of builds. I don't remember what last season's difficulties were. Was it? Inferno 2 to 4, asking because I'd like to save I Inferno 5's first time XP for I 6 push, but I don't want to waste the gauntlet iteration of it. Yeah, see, this is what I'm talking about. They're really, I don't know, it's a, they're kind of like wanting to rush us, but then they time gate us at the same time. It's so, it's, it's weird. It's kind of, I don't, it's, yeah. I don't know how else to explain it. It, 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 it it's just weird that way. Anyway, moving on. <clears throat> um, next thing we got. Um, Helicory raid crashes by a uh, cause by changing gear. Now, a lot of these are going to be PC crashes and issues. Um, so take it for what you will. Um, I haven't really experienced the changing gear. Because I usually, before I go into a raid, I make sure I got my raid set on. That I prefer to use anyway. And, uh, and I don't, I don't. I haven't bothered switching gear out, but it might cause other people in the raid formation might do the same thing, causing other people to crash. So just putting it out there, uh, bringing attention and awareness to these things, which is the whole point of this. So there is that. Um, let me see another crash bug here. It seems at least on PC. <clears throat> now this I have had happen to me recently. And now I know never to do that anymore, period. Um, it must have came with the most recent updates that we had, well, you know, a few weeks back now. It's been a while. And it's going to continue to be a while this time, unfortunately. Um, every new patch is always new bugs, and then sometimes the old bugs, you know, repeat themselves every other patch because they don't bother to just build upon um, updates they don't put updates onto the current build with the patches on them. They go and make usually a new build altogether, I think anyway, and then um, throw it out to every... So we have to basically almost technically re-download it all the way again. Um, and why it sucks so bad. Um, every time they run out or do a new update, it's like always a new build instead of just adding it onto what we have with the bug fixes up to that point would makes way more sense but anyway um yeah and this one is also saying is i can, produ can re uh, reproduce it 100 percent of the time not running out of memory that kind of thing on the pc yeah um do not it's say yeah if you try to type when the normal ui isn't up like un during unskippable cutscenes, loading screens etc it kicks you to desktop that's happened to me i was in um, oh, for instance, not even a cutscene. Well, it is a cutscene. The Pit of Damnation, or uh, the, no, the Pit Dungeon. The Realm of Damnation Pit. Pit Dungeon on the elevator. Going down. Um, you get the cutscene of the giant worm beside you as you're lowering down to the next level, which I hate that transition because it's so slow. Uh, but... I tried typing, I think I was, oh, I was typing something to somebody in the war band, and then I go, I was sitting there typing, it was okay as I was typing, but once I hit, like, enter to send, or whatever, bloop, I got kicked out, I was like, or uh, it was a hard crash, it kicked me out to the desktop, I was like, oh, well, I'm not doing that anymore, and then I think I also experienced the same thing like they said here, uh, as well, in that, in between loading screens, I was also typing something to a clan or somebody, and I go to try to finish, hit enter while I'm loading into the dungeon, and bloop, kick me out. So I was like, okay, I'm not doing that anymore. So yeah, don't do that, unfortunately. Um, 
And then also they go on to say experiencing more lag and rubber banding today using mobile phone. Maybe the patching is something I don't know. Yeah. Um, I think we've all been getting a lot more lag and rubber banding, which needs to be addressed. It really does. They can't keep ignoring it because it's just got, it's getting increasingly worse to the point where it will be game breaking. And that sadly enough is the only time that I think we'll get any attention brought to that stuff at all is when it gets to the point where it literally breaks the game. So we're approaching that rapidly. So they need to definitely do something about it. Now, next thing here real quick, uh, and I say real quick, and you know, you know me, uh, battleground phase three exploit where they're talking about, um, behind the barrier to heal up and oh, they even had a necro this time um, target through the barrier first but somehow I was able to cross through the barrier now I had a video I posted a while back that showed you know a demon hunter jumping through the barrier and get me by the crystal area and then they tried to run to the crystal to attack it and they're like oh I can't do any damage thankfully they couldn't if they could that was de that would definitely be a game breaking bug that should have you know quite, uh, gotten much more attention this happened a couple patches back it's still going on. It's obviously happening more frequently now than it ever has before. This came to be a couple patches ago now. And it seems to be more frequent now and probably just getting worse. This isn't going to get any attention brought to it, sadly, no matter how much it is now being um, found by more people. Um, so that's that. And like I said, I did a video on that one previously. Uh, blue, what did I, what did I do in this? Oh, does random dungeon finder work for anyone else? Now, I did an experiment with this on my alt, my necro. My necro is maybe six mid six hundreds, <laughs> if that. Paragon, if that. I think I'm even. Um, it might even be less. Than, it's probably less than that. It might be even six thirty, six twenty, something like that. So yeah, my neck grows way behind, but I did, uh, I did some testing. I also, for one, I did the fractured plane to see how much that would help. That helped immensely, immensely. Uh, I got better gear and everything combat rating boosted. That's the best event. I think if anybody is coming back to the game, anybody new to the game, hit that event up as much as possible. As you know, I said to do earlier for those of us that were already at Paragon four, uh, the experience gain, but not only that, for alts and new players and, or people coming back to the game, that the fractured plane is really, really good. I didn't realize how good it was until, you know, for one, I did the thing with the uh, XP. Granted, it was strifed, so to speak, um, but I still found it to be, for me personally, bigger chunks than I've seen. Because you're, you're getting it all at once by when you open those chests, so that's probably why it looks like it's a lot of experience, but it truly is, and it doesn't really take that long. Um, I ran it through my Necro, and I got huge level gains from just doing that and better gear that I was way behind on. It gave me better combat rating on them. It gave me some pieces that I didn't even have the essences for. It was good all around, so I definitely recommend that to anybody uh, new or anybody coming back to the game or anybody playing an alt that are behind and want to play catch-up. That's the way to go. Look for the Fractured Plane event. That's one of the best ones. It's almost over. But that's definitely the key one there. Um, but yeah, I tried the random dunder find, uh, dun dunder, dungeon finder out with my necro even. Um, now granted, my necro I just did today just because um, I finally broke and I had to do it by myself because unfortunately the uh, in, uh, not inferno <laughs> yeah I'm not even close to inferno. Um, I had to break through into hell eight difficulty on my necro and I had to kill. The last, the the ice boss guy that likes to freeze you. That was kind of a pain, and I had to do it by myself because who's going to be uh, back there right now doing that? Unless I would have possibly tried to call out. But my necro is clanless and adventurer, so not even in shadows. So I'd have, I would have had to go to world chat, which is cesspool, uh, and then be like, hey, can anybody help me? But no, I got it done by myself. I uh, acquired enough, com more than enough combat rating from doing the fractured plane, getting better gear. Did that, broke through to Hell 8. And then, of course, I see and I had the Hungering Moon, which is up now, obviously. Oh, still up. Uh, actually, it's a little late uh, if you're trying to get that done. This one has, well, actually, no, this one has till the 17th. 
end of the day so on the 17th so we got a couple days left on this one um so get it get it done if you haven't already or if you have alts try to get all the blessings in uh, my necro had all of them and i actually ran through almost all of these on my necro today in one go and i managed going back to the random dungeon finder thing on lower difficulties i managed to get into parties I didn't really have that long of a queue time, so I was either fortunate or it was just the peak time of the day when I did this. It was about, I'd say, oh, five, six p.m. evening, so it was probably peak time. But I managed, I got into parties with like 200s, 200 Paragons and up. Um, and then I think even like, not even, like maybe, I think I got to a party with a couple like 96s and so you know a hundreds uh paragons um for that so it is possible um and i got into parties fairly frequently and i was able to get those done um fairly quickly so this one here let's see random dungeon find finding anybody it all depend uh, finished the entire campaign completed all the dungeons oh they're really early yeah this person's really 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 early they might actually no like i said i still got into parties with like double digits uh, in some parties it was pretty crazy i was like kind of taken aback by it but then at the same time i'm like well i'm only 600 something so okay <laughs> but yeah they kind of threw us all together but it works they just you know you got to find the peak time and also i'm assuming that it probably applies to how populated actually no it's cross server i think well region cross server uh, so i guess it all depends um let's see maybe i'm on hell eight Maybe. No, no, no. I'm in Hell 8 on my neck. I just gave a whole rundown of it. So, yeah. I don't want to disprove this entirely, but it's just, it's hit or miss. It's going to be, you know, look for the peak time. So when you have the most activity on your server. And, or, um, actually, it's cross, it's cross server. So, yeah, I forget I said that again. Yeah. So, I, it's, it just, it worked out for me. So, I don't know what else to say. Um, I can actually do that right now. Let me hop on my, uh, no, I'm not going to hop on my necro. Uh, I'll save that for another time. If anybody's curious anyway. All right, now, this was very interesting. This is a very bad bug that a lot of people experienced this past weekend. Um, this last, this past Saturday, uh, Shadow War. They say, so last Saturday we had uh, Shadow War bugged and nobody in the server could participate. Today I'm seeing people telling them they got pretty awesome apology rewards from the devs. Yeah, some people got mail, in-game mail, with some items, and some people didn't which is weird and terrible at the same time. So some people got it and some people didn't. Um, unfortunately, our clan leader didn't have us signed up for the previous, uh, uh, the past week. So we missed out entirely. Uh, so, but I got to see in Shadow chat on that day, everybody complained. So it was pretty rough. Um, some people got, look at that, four legendary crests and some other stuff. And other people got Got the 12 keys, and then that was it. And let's see what else we got here. Oh, it's not scrolling anymore. Um, and then somebody got 50 scrap and five dust, and that was it. And then somebody got nothing, no apology, no Legos, no mail whatsoever. So yeah, so it, it's it's far too random, again. And this is an issue. These things are the kind of issues that need far more attention brought to them. Far more attention to them passed along to those that can actually, you know, pass it along. Unfortunately, I cannot, um, as I've stated before in the past, and I'll bring it up here again. I'd like to, but I can't. Um, yeah, well, they wouldn't like me anyway. <laughs> yeah, the, let's just let's just be honest. They would not like me for calling them out on their bullshit. But anyway. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to tell it like it is. You know, even if I was like, you know, well, actually, no. Some of the people in the partner program also called them out on their stuff and they didn't like that. And then, of course, they get ignored. So everybody in the partner program at this point probably much, pretty much is just being ignored anyway, no matter what they try to bring to their attention. So it's just it's a it's a lost cause, unfortunately, at this point with them. And it's sad. Uh, but yeah. Blizzard's on, burning on fire from Microsoft, so there's that. And then NetEase is, well, NetEase, I guess. But, uh, yeah. So there we go. I just wanted to cover these. I went on, you know, for quite a while on this kind of stuff. I know. But this is um, kind of a rundown of 
some interesting things that I found that I wanted to kind of go over and discuss uh, with all of you. And I want to know your thoughts on these things. And um, if you've experienced some of these bugs, some of the crashes, etc. Um, if you got, if you experienced the Shadow War uh, effect, I guess we'll call it at this point from this past Saturday. That kind of thing. So, yeah. Let me know if, uh, you know, your thoughts on all this kind of stuff. Like I said, any of this stuff happened to you yet? Or have you experienced these things? Um, I just wanted to bring this to everybody's attention from what I've seen recently. This is kind of a Reddit rundown, I guess, is what I'll, uh, I'll title this one. But uh, there you go. I am hopefully... I am very hoping, though, as far as this gauntlet season goes, um, that this stuff stays around. Because if they take this away, I'm going to be a little pissed. Because um, it's like, we're not even there yet. The ma vast majority of us are not even there yet. And you want And if this so happens to go away come the 19th, I think, here, and we don't get a chance to get this to finish out the set anyway, and then they just throw another one in, I'm going to be a little annoyed because, like... Look, we weren't even there yet, guys. It's like hold your horses. It's like you wanna you wanna rush us, but yet at the same time you wanna time gate us. Makes no sense. But anyway. Take care everybody as always. Thank you for watching. Do appreciate each and every one of you that made it this far as always. And uh until next time. Stay safe out there as always and the world on fire. See ya.